Hello everyone. Today, I would like to talk about bilingual, and the topic that I chose is why is raising bilingual children in Thailand so hard nowadays. Many people take an interest in being who can speak two languages, or we call bilingual, because of advantages. People who are able to speak or communicate with other people by using two languages fluently and naturally can gain special privilege more than people who are able to speak one language, or we call monolingual. According to Dr. Nada Fertin Bramilis, in 2017, being bilingual makes Opportunities for additional jobs increases persons of an opportunity to talk to more people to share different perspectives. Links us to several cognitive and social advantages, and also delays the onset of Alzheimer's disease. Bilingual people's brains are able to specialize into languages at the same time. It means the brains have the flexibility that affects in various ways that make bilingual people have their own advantages more than monolingual people. Bilingual people can use two languages to communicate and create ways. For a deep understanding of what others want to convey, both reading and speaking, they can learn new things in another language, while monolingual people can purely understand or learn in only one language. However, in Thailand, most people really value in being bilingual. They do not realize in the second language that much, think that it is not important for their daily life. Some are quite a、uh, nationalism, loving use their life traditionally, and think that to take national culture is the wrong behavior, even they are living their everyday life in big world with many mixed cultures. Making raising bilingual children harder, and there are also many educational problems in Thailand, especially the so-called inequality in education. In the next ten years, there are predictions that new graduates who know only two languages will have high unemployment opportunities. Therefore. Many schools today highly encourage students to learn a third language, such as Chinese, Japanese, or French. For example, whether or not bilingual educational education is a social stream, but for many educators, this is an opportunity and an important choice. Of Thai education in the present and future, this may be the answer or solution for the educational problems in Thailand. But we have to spend much money to pay for a good education. It is particularly seen in bilingual education. This may be another reason that makes raising children to be bilingual in Thailand so hard. Um. Finally, what I would like to know, and I would like you to think and realize, is, is it that difficult to raise Thai children to be bilingual? Does it have disadvantages more than advantages? Should Thai parents raise their children to be bilingual? Is it time to change? And kill the Thai education system by raising bilingual children to upgrade professionalism in Thai population in the near future. 
thank you.